We want to look at the science of mudslides with CBS this morning contributor Michio Kaku. He is a physics professor at the City University of New York. Professor, good morning. Morning. So why was this so massive and so deadly? Because if you have enough water, then about 30%, for example, then you get to a tipping point, a tipping point where the ground literally turns almost into a liquid. This is called quicksand, but you also find out, you also find out with earthquakes, tsunamis, mudslides, landslides. In Venezuela, 1999, 37 miles of coastline simply went into the ocean, killing about 20,000 people. These things do happen. Can that happen anywhere where an area gets a lot of water? Can anybody can be subject to a, a mudslide? Yes, liquefaction is a scientific term. Soil has friction. That's what binds soil. So you can walk on the ground, you think it's solid. But if you have enough water, water will loosen the soil, and it will become almost like a liquid, like quicksand, and you can literally be sucked right in on a moment's notice. Yeah, but 15 feet, Michio, buried under 15 feet of mud. Were you as surprised to hear that number? I grew up in California, so we're used to hearing about mudslides, a lot of vacation homes in Malibu going into the ocean, but this is huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, a square mile. Isn't this dangerous for the rescue workers as well? I mean... That's right. Rescue workers are saying that there's quicksand everywhere. You have to worry about that. By the way, if you are caught in quicksand, do not struggle, because mm -hmm. that'll push you down even faster. What you have to do is lean back and actually swim backwards. When you swim backwards, that's the way to get out of quicksand. If you struggle, you just go faster, right, right in. Mm -hmm. You can actually swim in mud. That seems like it would be so heavy to do. I'm no, trying to picture that. But you see, um, the, the ground is denser than you are, and there's yeah. enough water there uh -huh. that as you sink into the quicksand, you're actually floating on a certain amount of water. And that's why all the, all the first aid books and all the rescue books always say swim backwards if you ever caught in quicksand. Is there a way to determine that it's likely to happen? It's very difficult because the tipping point depends on soil conditions. Roughly when 30% of the soil is waterlogged, that's the danger point at which suddenly the ground could literally turn into mush. Thank you so much, so Michelle. Good to see you. Mm. Right. Professor Kaku's new book is called The Future of the Mind. It is now a number one bestseller on the New York Times nonfiction list. Hey, Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. And it's probably because of CBS News, I think. <laughs> well, we'd we'll like take the credit. Yeah, right. We'd like to think so. Congratulations. Mm -hmm.